Magana Mamaga, and welcome to episode 4 of Philippines Paramedic Prepper. So hot, it's midday. I think I'm melting. So this is the river that leads to the, the main Abra River, which is a couple of miles away. But you see how high above the water we are? Once it uh, rains here and we get flooding at 24 hours of rain, the actual water level is up here. So all this area, all this area is under water. And I'll try some, put some photos of last time when it flooded when I was here. So there's so much water all over this area. I'm out for a break, and I was walking this morning, so I'm about half past five, and it's uh, already getting hot, so I'm going to go back home now. Water, most of us take it for granted. We turn on a tap and there it is. But what happens in an emergency? What happens when unexpectedly that single reliable source of water stops? One of the fundamental resources we need to survive and live is clean water. The facts are around three days without clean drinking water and you die. Those of us that are fortunate to live in the rural heartlands of the Philippines have various supplies of water that we can use in an emergency. Here we are able to catch and store rainwater in barrels if needed. We have a deep well with a hand pump. We have another borehole that can be used with either an electric pump or a solar pump and a stream at the bottom of the garden. And if all else fails, the Abra River is about five kilometers away. We have plenty of bamboo to boil water and any water we need, we can use a few drops of bleach or water purification tablets to make it drinkable. We have a buried septic tank for our waste and the water from a shower and kitchen runs directly into the vegetable garden and then the rice fields. Those that live in the big towns or cities do not have that luxury. All the drinking water and sanitation flushing toilets require electrical pumps a massive functioning system to work. What if through an earthquake, typhoon, natural or man-made electrical mechanical pulse event takes place and that mains and sanitary water supply is cut off for days, months or longer? Bottled drinking water is going to run out fast in places like Metro Manila. Within a few hours or days, you're not going to be able to flush your toilet and take a shower. Many big apartment complexes and hotels have large swimming pools, but with no power for the pumps to filter the water, this water will need to be boiled. With no power, 
unless you have LGP gas, you will not be able to boil your water. If the emergency is going to last more than a few days, you really need to think about leaving the city and moving back to the rural heartlands or your ancestral homes where the water supports are available. So earlier in the video you saw the, the bridge, so this is the last time it flooded. Meanwhile, back on the farm. Mango. Sandy, dinner and a bath. Come on, Silver. Oh, there we go. There we So nice. Hello, Lyle. Hiya. Oh, Hi, yeah. so, Say hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. So hot, midday. I think I'm melting.